right, now I want to look at an advanced version of using formulas, okay? As far as algebra 1 is concerned, all right? All right, I don't know why I did that. I was wiping the crap off my head and pointing to you. Sorry I said crap. Don't tell your teacher. Okay, so we're using formulas, okay? We're using I equals PRT, all right? This is a common formula you'll see it a lot in, in real life and in the classroom. I is your interest, P is your principal, R is your rate, T is your time, okay? This is something you can do to find out how much interest you're going to accrue or earn if you have a certain amount of money in the bank, you make a certain percentage off that money over a certain amount of time. Um, a common thing is like a savings account or a CD, um, not the like compact discs everybody bought a bunch for a really high price in like the mid 2000s and late 90s. Um, a CD is something that it's like a deposit that you can put money into a bank and you say, I'm going to keep this money in here. Let's say you have you know, 10 grand, and you're like, I'm going to give the bank 10 grand, and I'm going to keep it in there, and I'm not going to get any of that money out for five years. At the end of the five years, they're going to give me a percentage of that money, so you can actually make money by just not spending your money. Okay, it's weird, but banks like to have your money. That's why their buildings are so nice. I'm talking to you, banks. Okay, <clears throat> I'm talking to banks from Mighty Ducks. Remember him? He was really good at hockey. Okay, so, <clears throat> interest, this is the amount of money you're going to earn based on the principal, which is the amount of money you put into the account, or put into the savings thing. Rate is how much you're making at, the percentage you're making off of what you put in, and then time is how long it's in there, in years, usually in years, okay? So, we're using formulas, we're going to use this formula. I've got some information here, what do I not have? T, that's correct. My T I don't have, that's what we got to find out. We want to find out how much time do we have to have our principal in there before we can earn this much money, okay? So let's find out. Remember my phrase? Plug in what you know to find what you don't know. People be calling. Probably the president or my friend Nate. I'm not telling you which one, okay? If you want to see videos of Nate and Tyler, go to tylertarver.com or just Google Nate and Tyler Tarver and you'll find it, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> anyways, here we go. So let's plug in our stuff. Plug in what you know to find what you don't know. What do we know? Principal. We know the rate. We know the interest. And we don't know the time. So plug in what you know to find what you don't know. Don't know. Okay. Interest. How much money do we not want to know how to earn? 42 bucks. Okay? Plug it in for I. Bring everything straight down. Bring down your equal sign. Bring down everything. That's how you do math. Okay? Principal. 350 bucks. Let's say I have 350 bucks. That's how much I can put into my account. I want to know how long do I have to keep 350 bucks in the bank's hands before they're going to give me 42 bucks for it. Let's find out. Rate, 6%. Now, you don't want to put 6% in. This is probably the most complicated part. You don't want to put 6% in. You want to turn that into a real number, a decimal, okay? To do that, you move the decimal over twice. The decimal's right here. We go 1, 2. That would be 0 0.06. So we multiply that by 0 0.06. And then we multiply it by our time, which is we don't know our time. So there we go. All right, so now we take out our calculators, which mine looks a lot like a cell phone because it is a cell phone. All right. We need to simplify this and get T by itself. Okay, we've got to get this formula to where the T is by itself instead of the I being by itself. So we know how much time we have to put this in here to have it, um, to find out, to find out how much words, right? How much time do we have to put our 350 bucks in there at 6% interest to get 42 bucks out of it? Okay, let's find out. I'm going to do 350 times 0 0.06 and it's 21 times T, okay? Times T, that's better. All right, now, last step, it's being multiplied, so to get rid of 21, I do the opposite, which is divide. That goes away, and then 42 divided by 21 is 2. So our time is two years. So we plugged in what we knew to find what we don't knew, don't know, okay? <clears throat> so a good thing to do when you're working with formulas, sit back, <clears throat> look at your problem, and figure out what you just figured out, okay? So looking at this formula, I know that it's going to take me two years, okay? Two years to do what? Well, it means if I have 350 bucks and I put it in the bank, at 6% interest, I want to know how long it's going to take me to earn 42 bucks. 
I need $42 exactly to take out this hot chick from second period. What's up, girl? You know who you are. All right? To make that $42, bucks, I have to keep that in the bank for two years to get that. Okay? So, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. That's how you use formulas. Holla at your boy. Tyler Tarver. TylerTarver.com. At Tyler Tarver on stuff. Subscribe. Bye. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe.